All right, we're gonna try another demo. Um, <laughs> this might obviously not be aimed at me directly or something like that. I'm a cat person and I prefer more action games than this a cozy game. But it's fun, right? To That's the charm of Steam Next Fest. Try a little bit of a different style of games and stuff like that and sometimes just to see. You might get surprised. So embark all right we start off with a word pun here all right 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 maybe on a therapeutic 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 adventure around a peaceful island use the corgis power to climb and soar your way to toasty treats and cozy nap spots Relax and savor this bite sites mm -hmm, pun again all right all right open world experience while 10% of your purchase is donated to animal shelter, all right? So, planned release date is quarter one in 2025. There's no pricing or anything like that. And let's see, is it working? Yep, looks like it's working. Right, so let's just do a quick dive. I noticed the bug first off. Since I play in window mode, um... The game started off in full screen, even though I had selected and the full screen was not ticked. Since uh, I tried the demo, made sure it ran, and then I, you know, uh, that was... Then I have closed the game down, right? And then uh, before recording here, I started it up and it started in full screen. It showed the correct everything here, right? But, it, but the full screen is not ticked and everything. But it still ran it in full screen, even though, you know, it should have been in windowed mode. Minor things, but I had to tick and untick this box to make it windowed mode again. Um, let's crank this cozy experience to the max. Alright. Why not? Don't know what this is. Turn that one off. That's nice. Hard. You can turn it on or off. I this might actually be good. I think I'm gonna try and turn down the saturation. It is a very like strong, colorful game here. Almost too much, which is uh, not common. But we might try this one in game here. Oops. Right. Uh, also controls. Seems like you might. Right. I don't think you can remap. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Uh, but basic stuff here, and you can at least see what the controls are. But remapping, I definitely want it to be within the main game. I'm gonna use, uh, I didn't mention this, but in the previous demo, the Lonely mountain skiing game here i was using the same control my game sir t4 Kalid, and it is just running in to steam as a normal xbox controller in that game and in this game right audio settings that's that's really nice it's a little bit interesting that everything is set to 50 percent um Ah, but I, it's good, it's good. You can boost everything here from the get-go. It's not just cranking it. I love this. I hope this becomes a trend where games stop just starting the game at its absolutely most cranked, compressed audio levels they can ever get to be as loud as possible. This is much nicer, but this is a cozy game, so maybe that's why. It is a weird thing. It's very difficult to like. I can't get using the game better. I can't really get back from this menu to the graphics menu. Uh, and if I press B to go back, it closes the settings. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. It's a little bit buggy, but let's see, let's start uh, the demo here. So, to my knowledge, you know, this is just very basic so far. Um, yeah. First look at the story mode, more to count. No saving, that's correctly right, because I've tried this game and it did not save right. 
but yeah you can see it is very very strong colors that you might or might not like i even saw someone mentioned that it felt that it was a little bit rough to their eyes um, but we have a saturation slider so i'm probably gonna turn it down Right, so by a little brief playing of this, you know, you, I can definitely get the feeling that this is aimed at very casual players and also at probably more of the, the kids. Whee! What was that? And I, I'm, I'm not sure about the, like what the story is here or anything, but graphically it has a charm to it. Again, very bright colors, but you can remove that. Turn it down, so I'm gonna try that later on. This is pretty much all I've been done when I like tried this, was just go in and find some treasure chests. So it is pretty easy movement, you know, you have a sprint, a jump, if you hold the button to jump you will float, you have a oink, if you press that you can do a little bit of a dash, oh yeah, chillaxing, Ooh. you know, obviously I don't think this is gonna be some uh, heavy platforming <laughs> crazy game or anything like that. The camera is very movie though, but you can turn settings off, but it is... Can I, I, I think I want to do that already. Uh, let's turn that one off. It is very movie. It just... It's almost a bit nauseating sometimes when it just keeps... Going. Oh, right, I know what you can do with that. Yeah, okay. It, oh, I, I, I got that without without any help. Whee! Uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty basic movements and stuff and everything. And obviously it's hard to tell how the game's gonna turn out. But, you know, we can probably guess from text and everything that it's just gonna be a more relaxing experience going around discovering some stuff doing some lighter platforming and stuff like that probably Yeah, the camera, even though I've turned off, um, like, auto recenter, the camera is uh, bugging me a little bit. It just keeps spinning and going. I don't, I don't exactly know what is going on. Let's also turn down this just to see how it's gonna look. Start with five. What is this? Oh god, no. Oh, that is too much. Uh, maybe a settings for the nostalgia mode. I think that it could work fine if you could tweak the kind of low res of it, of the nostalgia mode. Runs well here, no problem with 440p, 120 frames, everything's maxed. 
uh, you know, very little VRAM here. It's only around the 3 gig mark. Ooh. Oh. And the like 40 to 50 percent EPU utilization on my RTX 3070 here. Let's step on dirt. All right. Ah. <laughs> yeah, 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 very nice little things. I think it actually looks... Um, there we go. I think I prefer this um, oink at like 50% saturation. It just looks a little bit nicer, a bit cleaner here. There's no brightness settings. It could be nice to tweak like the gamma. Uh, and stuff like that, yeah. But saturation, it's nice that you have turning turning that one down a little bit. I think it's nicer for me. I think the like again the art style, animation, everything, it fits uh, together nice. It's a nice little charmy little like cell shaded style here. Let's just, okay. Right, so this is like your basic stuff there. Uh, yeah, the camera is definitely the biggest problem here. It is just, it feels like it's just keeps going and going and going. Dog, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely. Uh, I can remove this. We don't need that one. This is like perfect uh, for like a kid so has to run around. That if uh, someone that likes or someone just want a very relaxing kind of things. Wants, you know, someone that just wants kids again, or someone that just wants a relaxing thing, going exploring from the demo at least. You know, I, we don't know how the final game's gonna be, but so far here in the demo, that looks a little bit weird, but alright. Map not accurate in demo. Oh, 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 right. You have some things you can buy stuff with oh it costs 80 dog bones all right i have the cape okay you might not start off with a cape glider by default all right hmm But I don't know what it is with the camera. The camera is definitely bugging me here. <laughs> it just keeps want to go all over the place.
<laughs> Work in the creative way. It's fun, though. Is this something that I could, like, spend hours and hours on? Probably not. <laughs> but it's, uh, it has been a very fun... Oh, fun little try here. Oh, oh. For me, it's only the camera that I can uh, complain about so far. It just keeps moving and moving and moving, and uh, it's just a lot. Uh, it's quite a lot. And then that, you know, chill, chill vibes here. Whoa, oh, oh, Coyote jump. Right? Yeah, yeah, I definitely jumped after all, already gone off the ledge there, so... Yeah, I, yeah. The camera actually, oops, <laughs> makes me so I cannot play this for too long. I, I'm starting to feel almost a little bit like this kind of headache, nausea thing. It's like I feel that it's uncomfortable. Um, is unfortunate. Hope they can tweak the camera. Dogs and volunteers. Okay. They said something about the map. Alright. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, you can uh, relax. Oh, oh, and poop. Oh, backflip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, backflip. Re lying down. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, do that again. <laughs> Be happy, doggo. I don't know what pooping has to do to eat. Why the hell would you want to Well, I'm not a dog person. Maybe that's what uh, commonly dogs do. They... But yeah, I don't know if I really needed the, the poop. And especially not the eat poop thing. <laughs> Probably would not have had a problem if they skipped that. Wee! Full game will have no boundaries. Dun -dun 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 so yeah, so this is pretty much so far. Oh god, the camera just did not like me. Uh, but yeah, this seems to be the demo kind of mostly right now. Just do some fun little stuff here and see what's going to happen that uh oh. was there something down below maybe there was something i could dig up also boom 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 Nice little gliding ability there. the help that you can like get to see I still don't know anything about the map is there map not not accurate in the demo it's 
settings, controls, jump, jump, run, climb. Oh, climb is not assigned to anything. Maybe it's not in the game at the moment. Interact, bounce, emote, poop, blah, blah, blah. Right. Control customization coming soon. Okay, so it's planning on getting that into the game. That's nice. I'm guessing version B3.2 means beta 3.2. Alright. It is definitely like it's charming and interesting. Do do. And hopefully the demo will up, be up so you can just try it. See, whoa. If this is something for you. For me, it is really the camera. It's just absolutely in incredibly crazy for me here. Yeah, it, it, damn this I don't know what it is. Oh my god, you see that? I'm not doing anything. The camera just keeps going. Yeah. Woo. Um, yeah, uh, that's why I'm gonna stop this... Uh, this little thing soon, because... I, I, uh, my brain do not like this camera just constantly moving here. I can go that way. I don't, oh my god. Oh man, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to force myself to stop here. Let's see. Can we just run and explore here a little bit? See if there's like any bigger mission that's happening in this uh, demo here. Um, Definitely lacks a little bit of like some kind of sound effects or voicing something here. Like the traditional Banyu Kesui voice or something. Well, that is true. Cats do rule. This is a Unity game or something. Um, because even though I'm getting 120 frames, it's sometimes when I pan the camera, it doesn't feel that smooth. But it also feels like I'm fighting the camera, so it could just be that. Right, come on. Jesus, that's a lot of texts for that. Okay. Yeah, it, there is some frame pacing problems here. Smooth is... it's not 120 frames smooth. It seems to be a, some shagging along when I pan. 
that it probably could also be causing the nausea to be a little bit weirder like it runs pretty good everything right and i have v-sync on but it just is not feeling super smooth it is some kind of ticking frame frame rave something feels off don't know what it is but it doesn't feel like it is this 120 frames per second smoothness there all right let's just quickly run here to see can we get to the statue maybe that i i'm gonna stop it. to be quite honest if i keep playing i'm gonna get a headache um So yeah, the camera with the frame pacing might, might not be optimal is uh, really causing yeah, a headache. It's not like nauseating or like that. It's more just like uncomfortable and a he headache inducing. the goodest boy <laughs> okay This is like the main questing, okay. Right, to get some upgrades to, to progress to different places and stuff like that, okay. Right, so this probably lets you progress, right? Like this. Right, yeah. world <laughs> oh okay that's the play the full game for heartwarming stories and experience all right close your objectives to pursue at your own pace all right discover different biomes to relax and yeah it, it, this definitely gives you that kind of like just jump in, run around, and have just, you know, relaxed. It's not gonna be anything crazy. You find a little bit to progress, then open up the map and stuff like that. It's not gonna be uh, for everyone. Um, I'm not gonna wish list here, but I wish this, you know, all the best of luck because I think the graphic is very charming. Controls work very well. It runs great on an RTX 3070. Although, again, there is, I don't know what it is, the camera and something with frame pace, something, there is definitely, the camera is way too aggressive, like it's constant movement, and then combining that, it doesn't feel to be the smoothness, it should be the panning, it's still smooth, but it's not, something feels a little bit off there, hard to pinpoint it, that just makes me, like, starting to get a headache so I, I can't play this game even if i would have liked but uh, i would prefer definitely you know a little bit more of a uh, less chill experience right 
um, but you know this this feels like a great game for you have that for kids or you have someone that just want a relaxing time and if you like this art style and everything seems really good um, Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. As soon as I'm out of this world, it's just... It's weird. Like, it's... I can feel the brain just out tanking me. So... Yeah, there is something weird. I don't really get... That, that is very uncommon to just feel this uncomfortable from some... From a game like this. Like, I play VR and stuff and, you know, like, see a Sam, a tree in VR jumping around and flipping. Never felt like... Like, okay, if I keep playing, I'm gonna get the headache that this game just gave me. But, yeah, it seems a really nice, cozy game. Maybe some of the animation stuff maybe could use some extra oomph, right? But when you were peeing on that fire thing, it looks really weird how he's, like, cracking neck. Um, but, uh, yeah, nothing really, really, like, nothing to more to complain about right it's only the camera for me that really just i cannot keep going here uh, hopefully you can try this before and hopefully it was a quarter one 2025 ho hopefully this will come out and uh, you don't have to be corgis are though really really cool dogs but obviously you don't have to be a dog person to just go around and enjoy this you know i'm a definitely the main big cat person there is actually a a secret, uh, maybe not secret, where you can find a nice photo of the creator of this game and uh, he's holding a cat. Ooh. What, a, what a twist, right? But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you can try this one yourself and hopefully the camera movements get fixed and the, the rebinding gets added. And maybe the update to the demo to showcase that. Maybe start with the saturation turned down to 50% and let people boost it. Instead of have the, having it saturation boosted to max. Because that can also be a bit too much. Uh, I feel it is a very bright full game even on the, the saturation at 50% here. And I, I almost like can recommend you to go in and like turn the saturation down. Like the, the default, this one, that's too much. Like I can, if we crank this to 10, that's going to be insane. Can you do that? We are going to see this on 10 going to be, oh wow. Yeah, that, that is something, right? <laughs> this is, uh, that is crazy. Like this is, feels to me like it should be almost the max, but hey, maybe that is just me there. I don't remember where where you could find the picture of the developer. Otherwise, I would have gone and uh, showcased that. But yeah, turning this one to five is just very more like a very pleasant to me. So maybe that's a tip for you. But yeah, that's it for this. You can again follow or check back to the channel if you want to miss me trying demos and video games stuff you can leave a like a comment if you want to do that but if nothing else thanks for watching and have a great day and bye for this time